In campus news, a new species of birds have been discovered by an LSU student and researcher. Tiger TV reporter Abigail Hendren flew over to the LSU Museum of Natural Science to uncover why this discovery took so long. Abigail? Thanks, guys. LSU has something new to celebrate, as one of their researchers was recently credited with the discovery of a new species of bird that's been around for hundreds of years. Let's take a look. The red-fented bulbul is a common brown bird that can be found in many Middle Eastern, African, and Asian countries. They are known for their red eyes that can be seen from a distance. But deep in the forest of Borneo lives bulbuls with cream-colored eyes, a slight genetic difference that had been seen by many before, but not discovered as a new species until LSU researcher and fifth-year PhD candidate Subir Shakya noticed this difference to be more than just a genetic variation. And so one thing that stood out was the eye colors in those two groups of birds were different. Uh, and so the next thing, uh, logically, what we did was we added more samples uh, to our analysis. Uh, and then we specifically sequ uh, sequenced genes from the, the white-eyed birds and uh, from some of the red-eyed birds. And like, exactly as uh, like we had predicted, the birds were splitting out based on eye color. The difference between the genetic sequences of the birds proved them to be a different species, as they reached far beyond the 3% required to define it as such. Shakya originally thought this difference could be a mistake, until he was approached by one of his advisors, former students from the Smithsonian, saying that they too saw the differences. It was just an amazing piece of detective work. We've, this bird was, this white-eyed bird was collected, first discovered, a hundred years ago. Nobody thought it was a big deal. And it's been sitting right out there in plain sight for since 1914. So, uh, so it was really a cool, uh, cool piece of discovery. The LSU Museum of Natural Science holds the world's largest collections of bird samples from these areas. For anyone who's interested in them, you can check out the museum's collection in Foster Hall. For Tiger TV, I'm Abigail Hendren.